The Boeing 747 and the Airbus A380 have long been titans of the sky, although their production has ended in recent years. These giants continue to fly around the world in dwindling numbers. As of January 2024, only around 50 passenger Boeing 747S remain in service, while airlines like China Southern are starting to retire their A380 fleets. In this video, we'll dive deep into the differences between these two aircraft, comparing them across several key categories, design, capacity, performance, efficiency, and their overall impact on the aviation industry. So first, now we are talking about the design. The design of these two aircraft marks the beginning of their story. The Boeing 747 first flew in 1969, setting a new standard for commercial aviation with its distinctive humpback upper deck. Originally designed as a lounge area, the upper deck soon became additional seating, giving the 747 a profile that became an aviation icon. This unique design also made the 747 incredibly versatile, allowing it to be used for passenger flights, freighters, space shuttle carriers, and even as Air Force One. Known as the Queen of the Skies, the Boeing 747 is the largest passenger aircraft made by Boeing and was first flown by the famous airline Pan Am. A total of 1,574 Boeing 747S were built, with 64 lost to accidents. The 747 was the largest commercial aircraft in the skies for decades until the introduction of the Airbus A380. Boeing manufactured the 747 from 1968 to 2023, with the last passenger B747 delivered in 2017 and the final cargo aircraft delivered in 2023, marking the end of a 54-year production run in January 2023. The aircraft came in various variants and configurations, typically accommodating 366 passengers, while the final Boeing 747 8 could seat a maximum of 467 passengers. The 747, eight specifications, include a length of 250 feet, two inches, a maximum takeoff weight of 987,000 pounds, and a range of 8,900 miles. The Airbus A380 surpassed the Boeing 747 as a full double-deck aircraft and is the largest passenger aircraft ever made likely to remain so as it was outcompeted by smaller, more efficient wide-body aircraft, like the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. A total of 251 Airbus A380s were built, with none lost to accidents. The A380 project was first announced in 1990 to challenge Boeing's dominance in the long-haul market. Singapore Airlines was the first carrier to fly the A380, while Emirates was the top customer, purchasing 123 of the units produced. Deliveries occurred between 2007 and 2021, a relatively short period for a commercial airliner. The A380 can accommodate 575 passengers in a typical configuration, with a maximum capacity of 853. It measures 238 feet, 7 inches in length, has a maximum takeoff weight of 1,267,658 pounds and a range of 9,200 miles. The aircraft is powered by either Rolls-Royce Trent 900 or Engine Alliance GP 7,200 turbofans. Launched in 2005, the A380 features a full double-deck fuselage that completely overshadows the 747's partial upper deck. Airbus employed modern materials and advanced aerodynamics to make the A380 larger and more efficient, resulting in a plane so massive that some airports required modifications to accommodate it. With its sleek, modern design, the A380 is an engineering marvel, towering over everything else on the tarmac. Second, we are talking about the fuel burn and operational costs. The Boeing 747 and Airbus A380 are both four-engine aircraft, making them less fuel efficient than more modern twin-engine planes, like the Boeing 777 or Airbus A350. 
However, each has its strengths within the context of four engine planes. The Boeing 747, 8, despite being smaller than the A380, benefits from newer, more fuel-efficient engines and a lighter frame, allowing it to be more economical as a passenger on certain routes. Additionally, the 747's versatility as a cargo plane has made it a favorite among freight operators, where the cost-to-benefit ratio still makes sense. The Airbus A380 was designed to be fuel efficient for its size, but filling it to capacity is often a challenge on most routes. While it burns more fuel overall, its efficiency per passenger is remarkable when fully loaded. However, many airlines struggle to consistently fill the seats on such a massive plane, leading to higher operational costs and making it less profitable in the long run. This has contributed to Airbus discontinuing the A380 program, with the last A380 delivered in 2021. Third, the end of an era. As of January 2024, only around 50 passenger Boeing 747S remain in service. Airlines like British Airways and Lufthansa have retired large portions of their 747 fleets marking the slow but inevitable end of an era for this iconic aircraft. Meanwhile, the Airbus A380 is also facing a similar fate. Despite being a newer plane, airlines like Emirates and China Southern have begun phasing out their A380 fleets due to high operating costs and a shift toward more fuel-efficient aircraft. Production for both the 747 and A380 has ended. But these giants continue to fly in dwindling numbers, serving their final years on long-haul routes before retiring into the history books. Fourth, maintenance and airport compatibility. Another area where these two aircraft differ is in their maintenance and airport compatibility. The Boeing 747, despite its size, can fit into most major airports worldwide. Over the decades, airports have adapted to its presence and its design allows for easier integration into existing airport infrastructure. Maintenance costs for the 747, while still high compared to newer, more efficient twin-engine planes, are relatively manageable due to the aircraft's long-standing history. The Airbus A380, however, poses a bigger challenge. Its massive wingspan and height require special accommodations at airports, including reinforced taxiways and dual boarding bridges for both decks. Only the largest and most well-equipped airports can handle the A380, limiting its operational flexibility. Furthermore, its complex systems and size make it more expensive to maintain, leading many airlines to scale back their A380 fleets or retire them altogether as twin-engine planes became more efficient. Fifth, legacy, the impact on aviation. The legacy of the Boeing 747 is undeniable. As the world's first wide-body long-haul aircraft, it revolutionized international travel, making flying accessible to millions and connecting cities that were once too far apart. The 747 earned its place as a symbol of aviation's golden age. And while its production is winding down, its legacy as the queen of the skies will live on for decades. Many 747 continue to fly, particularly in cargo operations, ensuring that this iconic aircraft remains a familiar sight in the skies. The Airbus A380, despite being a technological marvel and a passenger favorite, didn't have the same long-term impact. While passengers loved the space and comfort it offered, the economics of operating such a large plane proved difficult for most airlines. The A380's relatively short production run and discontinuation have already cemented its place as a symbol of ambition and perhaps overreach in modern aviation. Its legacy will likely be remembered as a testament to what can be achieved in aircraft design, even if the market ultimately moved in a different direction. In the Battle of the Giants, the Boeing 747 and Airbus A380 each have their place in aviation history. The 747 with its timeless design and long-lasting impact, remains the more versatile and successful aircraft. The A380, while not as commercially viable, will always be remembered for pushing the boundaries of what was possible in aviation.
Both planes are icons in their own right. But as the aviation world moves toward more efficient twin-engine aircraft, their days in the skies are becoming numbered. Which one do you think deserves the title of the greatest airliner of all time? Let us know in the comments below.